So I deleted my island and started another island, and now I'm sick of this island, and I plan to reset again. <clears throat> but I thought I'd do a quick tour of uh, my current island at the moment. That is a custom design, if you're wondering what the dress is. And this is the airport. Now let's see how well I do this one-handed again. I forgot how to do this every fucking time. Hold on. Okay. So... Should probably show my map first. I need to do a dream address for this one, but I haven't done it. Anyway, yeah, this is Amble Hub. I got the name from a random uh, name generator for Animal Crossing. Um, I didn't hunt for any of these villagers, by the way. Like, I do a lot of trades on Nicholson, so some of them are probably from like the queues and stuff. But yeah, like Julian Whitney. Uh, she ironically, I had her on the island before I had this one. I've had him before. She, uh, I've never had her before. She was also on the island. I first set before this one. So was he. He's my recent move in. And I'm kind of sad because I kind of want him on my, the next island I'm doing. So that's going to be fun. Um, as you can see, like, these are all, like, where I was going to move the villagers and then maybe up here. But, I don't know. I just, there's so much space on the map and it gets really frustrating for me. Um, and sometimes you just get sick of looking at your beaches and your, your island shape and you're just sick of it. But, yeah, so that's... I know it's probably going to annoy some people that I'm not collecting that. I usually do right away when I see it, but, like, I don't see the point right now. Anyway, so yeah, got a green airport, which does not match with the, um color scheme here this is the beach am I there you go just a little space filler because this this part of the beach is always awkward on any map I just cleaned up the freaking stupid thing and the shell is back anyway that's the beach I don't know why I showed you that first rather than this this is, I know, I'm very shaky. My little, like, apple cider stand, and I thought it made it extra cute by having the apple chair over here. And this spot, I saw someone else do, and I did my own version of it. It's kind of what inspired this island in general, was their build of, you know, their little outdoor theater type thing. So this is my version of that. That's just random flowers and shit, which I don't need. Um, my house. I know, I'm very shaky, I'm sorry. Flowers I was thinking about using. There. Nothing over here, but I was thinking since it's like right next to the shop, I would put cars here. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. Hi, Rio. Like a little lookout area over the thing. That I just put down because I'm going to sell a bunch of my items and then take as much money as I can to the next one. Little eating spot. The fountain was over here and then I moved over there. Well, actually, it was over there and then I moved over here and then I moved back over there. I shatter. It was just a house that's on the beach. There's nothing down there. This is present sources. I just gotta kind of frame this off, put something in the middle. I like this little like entryway to present sources, but everyone's always fucking here. Little soccer field. I was gonna do two, but like it just didn't. It overcrowded the space and just didn't look right, so I just stuck with one. This is what I was working on yesterday. I was going to frame these two sides with flowers or something. Like red pansies is what I was using. There's Rhea's house. I can't stop shaking. I apologize. And then yeah, as you can see, I just... Could you tell where I got bored and or frustrated? And I just... I didn't know what to do with these spots. So I just kind of... Felt them anyway I could think of. 
It's just empty beaches. So there's nothing there. So let me show you. And then I'll show you over there in a second. So the vast emptiness of nothing. Froggy Crossing did like a little community garden next to her thing. And I kind of took a hint from that. And then there's this, again, I was going to do that water feature, like a water feature here, but like <sighs> the spacing is weird and I just didn't like it. And there's spare bushes and the rest is just blank nothingness really. And this is the stuff I was getting together to kind of do like, uh, like red, like maple trees and like, uh, little red mushroom forest I've seen everywhere. The stuff for community garden, cause I still want like autumn colors. So a lot of red and orange. As you can tell, I have a path thing around to get everybody. God, you still got like a sore thumb, Julie. <laughs> this I really do like though. This is behind the neighborhood. And I saw this little checker pattern for the wheelchair and I never used the wheelchair and it is kind of a cute item. So I just, I kind of did this and then like little sandwiches. And then of course this light is adorable by the way. I especially like it here. Wee. Go better fly. You don't match the aesthetic. I mean, you're a little bit more better matched, I guess, but you know, like a little, I think it's called the steel fence. This thing right here to kind of make it look like a closed off gate. This is behind the neighborhood, as you can see. Let's go do like more cars here. And I was gonna do like the telescope, not telescope, but like the, oh God, what is it? It's like, you see them in the city and then you look through them. I wanna say telescope, but I, I can't remember what it's actually called. And I was gonna put like a, a one of the red plastic, a red version of the plastic bench here and have it facing. So you sit down and you'd be facing that way. And then another thing there, the telescope or what the fuck it's called. And then yeah, there's village houses and then just because I didn't know what to do. I was going to fill space here. And then back there, I was just getting a, a bunch of randomly mixed red flowers or something. I'm not going to show you inside my house because nothing is decorated. But yeah, I do like this island. I think the name is really cute. And I think my favorite part is obviously the little outdoor theater more than anything. Could you, could you walk faster? I was thinking about putting my home over there or something, but like, eh. But yeah, um, this is definitely my favorite part. It's kind of like the only real part that looks finished, I think. Um, but yeah, um, for my next island, I was thinking of doing like springtime, uh, cherry blossom like Japanese modern city core like kid core with I was thinking uh, like silver black white pink color scheme I don't I don't know exactly what's going on but um that's what I wanted to show you I do have uh, some photos and stuff but I think I'll do that in another video because I don't want to fuddle around with stuff and exit out stuff and try and bring it back up and I don't know if it'll have to reload the gate. I don't know. Basically I'll just do another video on it because it's it, it's annoying and too much trouble. Um like comment subscribe check my videos, tell me what you thought of this. Um do you have similar builds? Do you are you doing an autumn core island? Have you tried it? Was it easy for you? Was it hard for you? What island do you really want to do that maybe inspires you but you can't like maybe it intimidates you somehow? I don't know. But yeah, bye.